a stairway right here. And then I have cold air returns all throughout the basement. So the air just naturally flows up, down, through the whole basement, and up and then just keeps continuously cycling. Which is awesome, we live in northern New Hampshire, it can get like 20, 30, 40 below zero Fahrenheit, and if we lose power, I'm always gonna have heat, as long as I don't run out of wood. But the bad part is, for hanging meats, it's hot, which the heat's not terrible, it's more with the wood stove going, we don't have much moisture in the air. So I'm afraid, for our first time while we're learning, to keep the meats just hanging in the basement with that wood stove cranking. So we're gonna build, or I'm gonna build, a root cellar in the corner of the basement. It'll be insulated and we'll get cool air from the outside. I'm gonna get to work on planning the layout for the root cellar. We'll be back later tonight. We're gonna be having pork chops and stewed tomatoes. See you in a little bit. We're gonna make some pork chops and stewed tomatoes. We use Miraglen organic stewed tomatoes. We found these to be pretty good. We once in a while they have a great sale on them at our food co-op and we stock up and load up the pantry on them. And we are using our bone-in chops. Wrong drawer. Man. What a mess. Someone needs to organize that. Man. Tell you what, I never really appreciated an apron until I wore one at the three-day hog harvesting class. And then the following weekends, I wore one when I was butchering the chickens. It is so convenient. It's a nice place to keep your knives, your rags. And I'll tell you what, I'm really enjoying them. I got a new one coming for Christmas. I can't wait. I'm terrible at waiting when I have something on order at least. It's been shipped, but the mail's been so messed up lately, I don't know when it's coming. And if it comes before Christmas, I might not be able to hold off using it. It's a pretty cool apron. Open up my pork chops. We've been enjoying all of the meat so far. It's been delicious. These are some nice pork chops. We have a little pre-made concoction of some seasonings. I'm gonna put a little bit on one side of the chops. Grab the other can of stewed tomatoes and dump them right on top. Oh, that's gonna be so good. And let them cook. That's the easy part. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. It's hot. It is hot, but it's delicious. Very good. Mmm. The stew tomatoes make it have a good taste. Yeah. Oh, you didn't want stew tomatoes. No, it's, it's like not on it to be inside because it, like, because the pork drop soaked mm. in all the juice. It's got the flavor of the stewed tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I like it. I haven't had this in a long time. Yeah. We're basically making Play Doh right now. What are you making? Soft Doh ornaments, but we're basically making Play Doh because this is how you make Play Doh. Because Play Doh tastes pretty salty too, doesn't it? I didn't know you could do this. One of my friends did it. You know, tell me about it, so. We decided we were going to try it. Oh, yeah, it feels exactly like homemade Play Doh. Mm -hmm. Really squish it. So you just like slime, slime. 